Hi! If we haven't met before, my name's Michelle. This is Actuarial, my actuarial YouTube channel. And I just came back from traveling through Bali and Vietnam for five weeks, which was incredible. If you haven't seen my pictures, um, feel free to stalk my personal Instagram. I also have an actuarial Instagram. Every time I have to do a fun fact, two truths and a lie situation on my trip, I always use the fact that I have a strangely large social media following around the fact that I'm an actuary. So thanks for being my fun fact, you guys. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about what the title tells you we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about acing your actuarial internships. This is something I can help you out with because I've been an actuarial intern, I've coached actuarial interns, I've evaluated actuarial interns, I've mentored actuarial interns. And while different companies and different people are going to be looking for different things, here are my tips that I like to share with the little baby interns to try to help them succeed and try to let them grow and blossom. We have to remember that internships should be a mutually beneficial experience. The company gets value in the way of testing out a new employee, training you on how to do things before potentially hiring you full-time, and you actually do produce good work. But you also get a lot as an intern. You get to try out different areas of the actuarial profession or even sample and decide, do I even want to be an actuary? I've been working as an actuary for eight years and honestly, I don't even know if I want to be an actuary. My first piece of advice is to ask and try to understand why you're doing the work that you're doing. When you are an intern, when you're an entry-level employee, when you are starting out, it is very, very easy to focus on the how to get stuff done. If you have to write code, if you have to program formulas in Excel, if you have to figure out how to do the thing, you are just being given a task and saying, how do I make the thing happen? How do I get the data in the format that it has to be? How do I make the report look the way that it wants to look? But one way that interns often stumble is if I ask them what they're working on, they don't actually know what they're working on, they don't understand the context for what they're doing, they don't understand why, and it's very easy for me to understand why an intern doesn't understand what they're doing. You're new, you don't get it, you're focusing on the wrong part of the project. Not the wrong part, it's important to get the work done, but it's also important for you to say, hey, why am I doing this? What is the larger project that this is helping? Can I describe it in a few words? Do I understand what this data, what this report, what this analysis is going to be used for? If you're being coached by a half-decent coach, they will be willing to take the time to explain that to you if you show curiosity and if you ask the questions. On the theme of asking questions, one thing that I always tell interns is ask where to save your work. When you're being assigned a project, sometimes you might think, oh, I don't know where to save it. You save it locally in your My Documents, in your personal computer, in your personal folder. Don't do that. There is going to be a shared folder. There's going to be somewhere that your team saves their work globally so that everyone has access to it. Share your work there. Save your work there. Everyone needs to be able to access your work, especially because you're an intern, especially because you're only going to be there for 4, 8, 12 months, I don't know how long your internship is. Your teammates need to be able to access your work even after you're no longer working for the company. You might think, my project is done, I sent them an email, no, no, no. They need your files, they need to know where they are, and on the same theme, another way to really ace your internship is to document your work. The interns with nice documentations always get great recommendations. It's honestly why I probably got hired or one of the reasons, I'll probably say that a few times, but I got compliments on my documentation. Just documenting even little things like where your work is saved, what your basic assumptions are, what links to what, what your source is, what your data aggregation levels are. Documenting your work, chef's kiss. Be the intern who documents your work. Since we're going with reasons why I think I got rehired, bring snacks. If you're working in person, bring snacks. This goes along with the big theme of be kind to people. During my first internship, it wasn't an actuarial internship, I would just see my boss in the morning and like go straight into work. I had a work question, I would go with it and he'd be like, whoa, hey, good morning, how you doing? And I guess I wasn't a small talk person. I guess I didn't realize like, hey, work isn't just about work. You have to have these human interactions with people. So just being kind to people. It's weird to say that I have to realize that you have to be kind to people and treat people like people. Um, 
but be kind to people bring in snacks every once in a while like everyone loves an intern who brings in a donut not every day but like once or twice during your four month internship people will appreciate it ask people about their weekends when you make people feel good about themselves they tend to like you pro tip Take advantage of networking opportunities during your internship. Take advantage of coffee chats. If full-time employees are willing to have these conversations with you, prepare a couple questions, go in with curiosity, and just ask them about their work, ask them about their life. Try to get as much out of it as you can. I've told this story in my insurance versus consulting video, but it was in a conversation with someone full time that I realized that I did not want to work in actuarial consulting because the way that she described actuarial consulting as being desirable to her made me realize that it was not desirable to me. And that leads me to one piece of advice that I share all the time, which is look around at the people you're working with look around at the full times at the company don't just look at the internship and the work that they're giving you as an intern and say do i enjoy my intern work but look at the careers of the full times and say is that something that i want to be doing for the rest of my life because the work that you're given as an intern might be a real entry-level work but the career progression that that internship takes you towards is that the kind of life that you want to have for yourself again being an intern is a mutually symbiotic relationship. Yes, you are doing work for the company, but you're also learning, is this something that you want to do with your life? And if you can look around at the full times at the company and see yourself in their shoes, that's hugely valuable. Okay, back to the more tangible advice. If you are close to finishing the work that you've been assigned and you don't have any work in your backlog, tell someone. It's very easy to imagine that the full times have some like grand plan and some long list and some prepared work for you that they can pull out of a hat at any moment. We don't. <laughs> sometimes you're getting work from multiple people, sometimes we don't know exactly where you are, especially if you're doing your internship remotely, then it's really hard to gauge what your work level is. And if you look at your current workload and you're saying, mm, I have work for maybe another day, let someone know in advance. Just send them a message and say, hey, I have about a day's worth of work left. Um, do you have any other projects that you can start thinking up? Because as a full time, I want to prepare for you. I have to first think up what project is appropriate for your skill set and level of knowledge. I sometimes want to prepare a little bit of pre work before I give it to you, like start working on something. Often I want to draft up an email just listing off all the steps so I can send it to you and you can reference it some nice like pre documentation to help you out giving full times a heads up is super valuable. If you wait until you're done with your work to tell us that you need more work, sometimes you'll have half a day, a day where you don't have any work to do. That's bringing no value to the company. You're sitting around bored. No one's impressed. Always let people know. Just give them a heads up. The number one feedback that I hear about interns is that their work is okay, but their communication skills really need work. They can't talk about what they're working on, which goes back to my earlier tip of asking questions about what you're working on, but also what's important in communication in presentations is knowing who you're talking to. If you are talking to the person who assigned you the project, you don't have to provide as much context. You do still need to provide some context. Sometimes I feel like interns will start explaining work to me like three sentences in, assuming that I've been in their head and I know what they're working on. No, no, no. If you've been asked to give a presentation to a director or a VP, it's hard for you to know as the intern how much the director or VP knows about the work that you're doing, what insurance terms need to be explained, what context for the project needs to be given, and it is okay to ask. Ask the person assigning the presentation to you, what do they know about this already? How much context do I need to give? If you're preparing some sort of a visual or a write-up, provide it to the person who's assigning the project to you, give them time to review it and give you feedback, and that will help you gauge the right level of what kind of context is needed. Leave your actuarial questions below because I do want to start making videos more regularly. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and thumbsing, and thank you for calling. Bye! <laughs>